It's fair to say that this fixture's had its fair share of carnage over the last few seasons. We've had a six-goal playoff tie, Richard Burnley scoring a worldie from outside the 18-yard box. We've had a 90th-minute equaliser from 2-0 down. And we've had a 0-0 draw, because obviously every fixture's got to have a 0-0 draw. But this season, it, it could be a bit different. Who knows? Not so top of the league, Torquay are bottom of the league. And Torquay are one of them teams not so just... They've never really done that well against. But today is a really good opportunity to get three points and a bit of revenge from that playoff game and from the last time we faced them in April because that was just a disaster class, that was. And keep our cushion at the top of the National League. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Last five games, lots of won the last five. Talking through two and lost three of the last five. That does not mean we, need to, uh, we can take our foot off the pedal because we need to be on it every single game, no matter who the opposition are. Adam Dixon doesn't score simple goals. He only scores the ones that are a bit more trickier. But yeah, early on, talking been pressing us well. Too many passes where we're putting our own players in danger of um, being dispossessed. This is a perfect place. Dixon's getting a lot of space down the wing, but we're not using him. No, they're doing a, they're doing a decent job on Ruben, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They have frustrated us so far, Torquay, but we're not unlocking them. We're not we're not moving the ball quick enough at the minute, and it's really frustrating. Well, I apologise as well. <laughs> Good ball. Get it in. It's about talking down, but we've got there eventually. And it's kind of a, a Rex a mess free kick. You know the one we went to get to Rex and get his line like that. Just need to keep going for more now. One, no such troubles this time. Sends Halstead the wrong way and knocks the two to the good. We've got better as the game's got on now. We really have. We're starting to move the ball a bit quicker. We got the man into an advanced position and he helped us win the penalty there. I don't know who the final foul was on, but the man did go into the area and I think he was pushed. There was no real pace involved in the game at all. Um, having said that, they, they only really threatened us once. Well, then after that, we've been completely in control. Um, let's just hope that we, we get through this game with three points and 11 fit players. Right, start to the second half from Knox. We really should be more in front, to be honest. We're getting into some good positions. We have got a lot of space in the middle. Geraldo is, Geraldo and Matthew are doing so well. We've got to uh, stay focused though, really have to, because obviously these came back from 2-0 down last week against Altrium. 
we probably should have made it three. We got into some good areas and then that final pass, our decision making then was that Langstaff had a shot but really should have passed to the Kedman instead. All right, go Sam. We're overplaying it in the final third. We could have had so many more, but... You can't you can't play Castro deeper because no. he's, 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 he's not he's not suited to it. No, he doesn't like he, he doesn't like having too much of the ball. He likes it out in front of him. We didn't really get out of first gear really, as you can tell. We were two 0 up for quite a, a while. The two late goals added the gloss. Palmer and Batrami. Good battle between the man and De Silva as well down that down down the wing. I thought the back three were really good. They helped us. And Bob, when you could see him back from injury. He, a yeah, successful return for him because he's passionate at full time as well. Kyle Cameron was trying for that goal so hard, you could tell he was really like he was in the penalty area in like the 90th minute trying to get a goal. So, as is becoming customary now on this channel, we do the outros the day after. Well, this time it's because I went to to knots after the game, but yeah, you have to um, you have to bear with me on this one because my foot I don't know if you can tell my foot's feeling a bit dodgy, yeah. 4-0 winners this time, and we didn't really have to get out of second gear, really, did we? We were 2-0 up for so long, and it, we could have had more in the second half to add to it, but we eventually we eventually did so near the end of the game. We added some gloss to the scoreline, which it, it deserved in the end, because we did have the chances to make it more than two before... Before Castro had even scored his goal to make it three, and then Badrami scored to make it four. In the past few years, not so struggled to break down opposition who play in a low block, and that's been frustrating for us. But once again, like Maidstone, we built up patiently, and then we got our wing backs into more advanced positions as the half went on. And once that happened, we started to stretch Torquay a bit more. Palmer started to get into more attacking spaces, and it was all important that first goal. And then. As soon as that went in, a few minutes later, penalty given and we're sitting comfortably at 2-0. Rodriguez scores, no messing about from him this time. He puts some proper power behind it. Not so struggled to get the right personnel to complement each other in midfield for the past few seasons. It's always been a problem for us. But we finally got it right this season because Matty Palmer and Gerardo Barami how they are just a brilliant central midfield pairing. And even if one of them's out, we've got Jim O'Brien to come in because all three of them have been been really good this season. And we finally sorted out that central midfield problem that we've been having for year upon year. The wing backs, Chickson and the man have improved so much since last season. Rollo, whilst not playing in his more favoured central position in the back three yesterday, I thought he still did well. Baldwin, it was good to see him back too. That's now eight 
different goal scorers in the last two games. Good one-man team, eh? Brilliant. Such a one-man team. It's just a real good feel factor around the lane at the minute. It is a real good atmosphere. There's a great team spirit. We're playing some great football and we are top of the league. But we must keep it going. We must keep it going because any slip up and Wrexham are here to capitalise. But we must keep this going. I've got full faith that we will be able to. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the games. Do subscribe if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, to loose.